Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my crafting life for this week. First of all, welcome to those new subscribers. I hope you enjoy the content. Like it, leave comments and get involved in the creativity of this channel. It would be fun. And to my old subscribers, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying your February and seeing what you're coming up with during February. So for me, I've done a couple of things. I'm still quite sore in the ribs and quite breathless, so I'm sorry about that, but it'll be a while before they're better. I did get something really lovely this week. I received a gift of kindness, a pattern from my friend Janet Lepre. Thank you, Janet. It's really appreciated. She sent me a pattern of, and I'll do it that way. It's not a very big picture. Noodles the Dragon. As it's being Chinese New Year and Year of the Dragon, there you go. Isn't he cute? I can't wait to make him. He is um, from ollieandholly.com, an Anna Gurumi pattern designed by Abby Sai. Um, I think it uses paint box yarns, cotton, Aran. I've never had paint box yarns, believe it or not, no. There are lots of yarns I haven't tried. I've tried lots, but I haven't tried paint box yarns. So yes, he'll have to go on my list of projects to make, especially this year being Year of the Dragon. One of the subscribers, Shandhale, is making a dragon on our um, Shutterbug AU make along, which is going really well. And I can't wait to see that finish because that's quite a unique project for this make along. So, what next? I've done, this is mainly about knitting. That's the only bit of crochet I've got to show you is a pattern that I was gifted and it's very much appreciated. So I've been knitting, which I find easier than crocheting with my ribs. Don't ask me why, I don't know. But February being the month of Valentine's Day, I decided I'd do a Valentine's Day project. Now I have made this one before but I didn't do it as Valentine's Day. I think I put pom-poms on it and did it in blue. I did sell it on Etsy. So I have made a Valentine's Day tea cozy. I've gone to my pattern library, 20 to knit, easy knitted tea cozies by Leanne Garrett. This book, this little book I purchased. And the one I have made is this one. Ta-da, the Valentine's Day tea cozy. I'll show you mine. Um, it came about because when we were looking for the whirl yarn for the shawl pattern, in the drawer, thing, um, Reeves came across two big balls of Red Heart Aran yarn, which was made in Australia. Or, and he said, what's this for? And I said, I don't know. I do remember buying it. I bought it on my road trip to Rockhampton in a charity shop. It had ball bands on it and it was wrapped in plastic, brand new, I don't know, it was a bargain. And I remember buying it thinking I'll make something with that. Well, I haven't till now. And I decided that's the red I would use for Valentine's Day because it's a good Aran weight yarn. So here you go. Here's my tea cozy Ta using the Red Heart Aran. I'm not sort of keen on these hearts, the way they turn out. If I make it again, I might do another one. It has a drawstring top, has this sort of split in the top that you do. I know when I did the blue one with the pom-poms, I made this much bigger, uh, but this time I've stuck to the pattern. The white, I'll just have to put that down, is Karatopu Elite Wall. I think I bought this on special. There was a ball of that in the same drawer, and I thought, well, that will make the tea cosy. It's 51% um, acrylic, 49% wool. And from the size, it doesn't really say the weight or the ply or whatever it is, but from the size of the knitting needles and crochet hook and the thickness of the yarn, it was definitely like an Aran weight, four weight, whatever you want to call it, 10, 12 ply. The pattern was really easy to follow. These are easy um, knits. The, generally stick to a basic tea cozy pattern and you change the appearance of them. I've made a couple. I think I made the nautical one. Let's have a look through. 
so far. So I am using this book quite a bit, which I highly recommend you visit your pattern library and make something you from one of the patterns you have on hand. I've made that one. I sold that one. They, they do sell. There is another one in here I might make later in the year. A Valentine's Day one. I'm trying to think, what else have I made? I know I've made a few. Anyway, can't really flick through them all today. But that's the tea cosy I've made. That's my first Valentine's Day project finish. Do you have any Valentine's Day projects on the go? And can you suggest any? I'm having a bit of a, what we say, slump on creativity and what to make. Let me know in the comments below. Make any suggestions. Um, just make it easy, simple, quick ones because... I don't seem to be able to sit around and craft for long before it hurts too much. Now, the tale of two beanies. You will remember, oh, turning is difficult. I made the sock head slouch, a free pattern, and it has the rolled brim, and I made it with Premier Serenity sock yarn that I had left over. I had quite a bit of it, and at the time I made the comment, it was nice, but I did have another slouch. Uh, pattern that I probably prefer so I decided I'll just put this one here I would make the one I prefer which is I think it's the red brick company unisex men men's unisex slouch it's a Canadian pattern it's free so the links will be in the description below but here you go it's quite different in the shape to the sock head the sock head is long and narrow and the roll brim. This one is quite wide. It still has a nice back feature and just a straight brim. It does take a lot more yarn. It does turn out really well in a flat neutral colour. You get to do so many, like 12 rows of um, stockingette stitch and then two rows of pearl to give it this ridge. All in all, to date, out of all the beanies I've sold on my Etsy shop, this pattern is the most popular, especially when I do it in like beiges or neutral colours. I have sold quite a few of these around winter time. And after doing both, I think on appearance wise, I really prefer the red brick one to the sock head one. Let me know in the comments below which one do you prefer. But there you go. The tale of two knitted beanies. I've done them both. And as far as leftover from the Serenity yarn, I have this much left over. So no doubt I will find a pattern to put that in and use up the scraps. Because I am on a mission to use up scrap yarn. And I have done a few little scrap projects along the way, but I'll just do it an end of month review and all the scrap projects I've done. So that's it for me this week guys. Still a short week, not a lot done. I have worked on some big knitting projects. I've almost finished one. Well, I thought it was finished. I might have to add to it. Um, after Thing made a suggestion, I'll wait till I actually sew the shoulders together. Yes, it's a wearable and see what we think. But until next time, stay safe, stay well, and let me know what you're crafting for Valentine's Day. Me, it's always easy to do a tea cosy. Takes less than a day. Bye for now.